Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I am Amalgamash, and this is Ultima Runes of Virtue 2. I've decided to pick up and continue playing. While Thou was searching for Lord Tholden, a major earthquake rocked the northern mountains. Thou wouldn't know anything of this. That outlaw, Black Knight, has kidnapped Lord Witzeber. Thou must travel to the Cavern of Dishonor, west of Trinzik, and rescue him. Once thou hast returned him to the city of Trinzik, return here. Yes, my lord. Right away, my lord. Your will, my hands, my lord. Uh, this game has some of my favorite dungeons and puzzles in all of video gamedom, and I wanted to ask, present, postulate the question, if you will. Can you use video games for inspiration, Al? Al, you're gonna you're gonna die, you fool. Can you use video games to inspire your TTRPG ideas? And the answer is, uh, my opinion, a resounding yes, 100%. So this is Trinzic, right? Welcome to Trinzic. Pirate Free since 1873. Uh, that guy is making <clears throat> some stuff. I already have that kind of armor. I would love a crossbow. I'm going to have a crossbow. We're going to equip the crossbow in my offhand. Now I have a sword and a crossbow. The reason for all of this is that I'm going to go into that cavern and have the ability to fire from afar, which I already have with my axe, but the crossbow is stronger. Uh, I would like to prove to you how you can use ideas from video games, very particular video games, maybe not every video game. What the heck is going on here? My perfectly legitimate and valid SNES cartridge seems to be very graphically messed up. Uh, we'll just deal with it for now, because I've definitely had this happen before. Whoa, 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 whoa. So, the way that Ultima's dungeons are set up, we've just entered a dungeon, and don't worry, this will clear up at some point. I'm not sure when, but it will clear up. Ultima's dungeons are separated by floors. Each floor is just a series of... It's either one big puzzle, or it's several small puzzles, and usually there is some precedent to follow for what exactly you need to do, and if you need to reset the puzzle, you just leave the floor and come back, and most everything will be reset the way that it was before you arrived. Uh, oh, God, there are a host of unique enemies and configurations of these enemies on every floor, and sometimes mechanics just work a little bit differently depending on what room you're in. So there, it bears trying different things out. So we've got an orc boy here. Hey, 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 hey. One coin in the treasure chest. I'm stepping over the mushrooms because the mushrooms oddly act as switches in some levels. And then everything can attack you, even if it's a cute little froggo. It's something that can potentially kill you. So if it moves, you must put it to the sword, and that's all there is to it. Uh, I'm going to leave the octopus alone because he's stuck in the water. Pick up any hearts that I can find. Oh god. Oh god. Definitely kill the mice. The mice are no good. The mice are out to get you. This is going to be more, this particular floor of this dungeon, this is more of just an enemy onslaught. There's enemies all over the places. Places. There are lots of opportunities to get hurt, get your health worn down before you journey to the next floor. And that's really fine. We're we're not here to to get through in one piece. It's Ultima. We're we're probably gonna get a little bit battle damaged on the way. Uh, but when we're done with this dungeon, we will have rescued the next mayor, and we'll kind of return to the king, and he'll tell us where the next the mayor after has been kidnapped. We'll actually probably see the scene where that happens. That chest is a mimic, and the reason that I know that is because it's a little bit shinier than oh, ah, yep than other chests. He wasn't going to let me out him until I had giving him a little tug at the at the lid. Oh, you bastard. You can attack very slowly. Oh, God. 
It's very slow. The attacks are very slow. But you've got two weapons, one in each hand. You piece of crap. And you can attack one right after the other, so you can get two attacks on an enemy very quickly. I see, uh... Whoa, 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 whoa. Those beans are explosive. Where'd you go? Oh, yeah. So we gotta get away from them. And pick up as many recovery hearts as I can find, because I need them. And fire at the things, like... the trees diagonally because they can fire things off but they're kind of stuck they can't they can't do it diagonally oh not the cats not the cats oh god i'm gonna need to recover now probably right now as a matter of fact i wanted to save the food but there's no saving the food i can get through that ah oh, man i can get through that cobweb if i had fire and there's a fire wand i think in this dungeon i think i'm going to be forced to go down this path a lot of the dungeons have different paths and getting from floor a to floor c might require you to go through floor b or you might need to go to floor b a uh, it's not always set in stone. Some of the some of the paths, and you don't really see this. There was a switch mushroom. You don't really see this until a little bit later. Don't need that now, but whatever. Uh, but the some of the paths actually end in dead ends unless you have the correct item at that point in the game. So there are definitely points where to advance crap you will need something that say can cast fire you will need something that oh jeez oh man come on dirt bag oh i can fire through the rock that's handy uh there there we go that's what i need that will burn cobwebs. Uh, it will take away my magic, though, so I can't, like, keep it set as my offhand weapon the whole time. But this will allow me... Is that a secret door? Yes, nice. It will allow me to go back, burn that cobweb, and go the correct route through this dungeon. So, I can do that. I will do that right now. And when you run out of uses, it just you still have it until you get more magic back. So it's great. It is great. By the way, the onk right here, if I use that, you can assign all of these weapons to either your main hand or your off hand. Um, the onk, if you use it in your main hand, you will appear back to the beginning of the floor. If you use it in your off hand, you will... Dang it. You will... Uh, Return to the king immediately. So you can return to the king. With the mare that you rescue. I wish the graphics would fix. Dag, damn it. The puzzle here on this floor is that for every mushroom I touch, I gain the strength to break a boulder. I need to be very careful not to touch any of the boulders that I don't need to break. There are octopi on one side, and I'm absolutely free to attack them, but if uh, I do, I run the risk of hitting the seahorses, who are peaceful, unless they are provoked, and then they are wild. They are some of the toughest enemies in the game. They'll just constantly fire at me, and I can't have that. So, oh, gosh. Got attacked. Uh-oh. I was going to say, oh, oh, God. Hydra thingy. Oh, man. the uh, that That's part one of the puzzle of this floor. Part two is this tide goes in and out, in and out, in and out. And um, we have the capability to... Uh-oh. You gotta wait. You gotta wait when that happens. Of uh, traveling 
down when the tide is low and going through the, hey, come back here. God, right away, I gotta worry about stupid gnome things. The gnomes, crap. I screwed that up. I screwed that up. I screwed that up. Ah! I screwed it up. So, I'm eating these mushrooms and I gotta go back. I'll take that diamond back. Thank you. Uh, because you can only s hang on to the strength that a mushroom provides you one at a time. And actually, the secret wall's closed up, so I have to use my onk. Oh boy. So we're back to the beginning of the floor because I failed that puzzle. Yep. My bad. My bad, fam. My bad. We're going to work through this a little bit quicker now that I... Now that I know exactly what I need to do, um, I would love to be able to get some hearts. Yes. No, I didn't know there was one there. Ah, man. I'm just going to address you guys before I, I'm actually going to die. I'm so low on health. Where's my hamburger? Did I use my hamburger? Oh man, this is brutal. All right, all right, all right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ugh. No. Ugh. Oh god, no, you fool. Can't, can't get hit, or I will die. Can't remember what happens if I do die. Okay. All right. Now, diamond, break the boulder. That's one. Gotta kill this guy. Gotta get rid of him. Mushroom, break boulder number two. Go over here. Grab mushroom. We'll travel. Break boulder number three. I can fall through the floor now, but uh, was there a heart up here? Anything like that? No, I'm just, I'm screwed. I'm boned. Fall into the pit. Next area. There he is. I got to save him. Oh, gosh. Um, meanwhile, in the city of you, this stuff happens. It, it, the more you travel between maps, the more time kind of passes. The Black Knight continues to kidnap mayors. <clears throat> so, Mr. Knight, you've come to turn yourself in. Ha! Come quietly or I'll sick my troll on you. Yuck. I hate trolls. This is you, the City of Justice. She's a justice here for sure. She's, while a mayor of this town, she's very much about... Ick, this swamp is disgusting. Just hold your breath like I do. Very much about that judgment system. And now she's she's got to get stuck into a room. The Avatar will never find you in here. I really wish I could get rid of this stupid scan line graphical error. Hey, where'd that stupid troll go? I know that it's it's just some stupid temporary bug. Ow! Right? <laughs> ah, it hit me anyway. Come on. So dumb. All right. We've got some regular regular cobwebs, a food. I'm going to need that. The inability to straighten myself up and hit the damn uh, mouse, chest, coin, get out of the way. <sighs> a bomb, got myself a bomb, cool, okay, and secret door, an orc, I think that's supposed to be an orc, might, might be a goblin. Ugh mage 
stupid mage. You hit me anyway. I'm just gonna have to destroy you. Uh, I'm, I've come to rescue you. I need to get the heart key first, though. Okay? Gotta get the heart key. Oh, man. How? How, how, how do I do this? Um, actually, did I already... Is that a thing that's already done? Like, oh, where did that come from? I missed it. I missed it. <sighs> I happen to be playing with a keyboard at this time. Let's get these coins. So I, uh, I kind of flip out a little bit more than normal. Lord Witzaber, am I glad to see you, matey. I know how to work the gates, so let's make a quick getaway. Ah, never thought I'd live to see Trinsic again. Every one of the mares has their own theme, and their town has the same theme, so that's really cool. Otherwise, there's not a whole lot of music in the game. There's the music that plays whenever the Black Knight strikes. Uh, but that was that dungeon. The appreciative people of Trinzik throw a celebration in honor of their mayor's safe return. And it's very formulaic. You go rescue a mayor from a dungeon. And the town has a virtue associated with it. That's why they're the runes of virtue. The town has in its possession a sort of rune that is gifted to the avatar every time he saves a mare they gift him their town's rune it's a rune of virtue and it is associated with the virtue of that town so i'm going to get the rune of uh what was it honor coming up here and that's going to give me permanent stat boosts and make me a little bit stronger and a little bit more readily able to tackle the next dungeon but the dungeons that they get kidnapped and put in are called the Cavern of, and then the opposite of whatever that virtue is. So I just rescued him from the Cavern of Dishonor. Thou hast been presented with the Rune of Honor, matey. Thou hast gained intelligence. Now I can fire things a little bit easier. Um, I know how to solve. I know how to solve this bug manually. I need to go find a zoom out point uh, uh, a globe a viewing globe there has to be one around here somewhere can't I just raid your bedroom matey <laughs> that doesn't sound good at all avatar I have Lord Whitsaber's dinner to prepare he doesn't like it late I'm not trying to get in your way I'm actually trying to ignore you the NPCs all have places that they go and they they just get right out of your way and go do their things. It's really, really cool. They've all got lives to live. Um, we're gonna we're gonna use the onk. All right. The king's gonna tell me about Lady Lenora of you who has been kidnapped, and so I will go to you now. Uh, but first, I need that stinking dumb. Can I go through the fireplace? I can go through the fireplace. I need to go to the globe. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I did it. Oh, thank goodness. So this kind of gives you the whole world map if you're ever lost and what to do. The heart indicates where you are, and then you can see every single town and dungeon in the game. The dungeons are all just caverns or represented by caves. Some of these are like offshore, so you might be wondering how to get to them. We will definitely find out pretty soon how that is. Uh, but your next objective will be shown on the map as well. It's the skull. And now our graphics are fixed. Okay, all right, all right. Fixed all of that. Ready to go to the next dungeon. And this next one is where things actually kind of get real. Uh, act no, I guess I shouldn't say that. The challenge doesn't amp up quite yet. The challenge amps up in dungeon number four. Dungeon number three is still pretty tame. I got the two of them confused because I, when I played through this originally, they give you a little preview of, of uh, where the Black Knight is taking his hostage, where he is taking his kidnapped current mayor, and I got 
the place where he took the mayor confused, and I actually went ahead one dungeon. You can tackle these in different orders. It's just that when you get to the bottom of said dungeon, there's not going to be a mayor there, so you're going to have gone through all of that for nothing. You can get the items and stuff along the way, but um, get away from me. But it doesn't do you any good, so. All right. This is the next dungeon. And it looks like the graphics are going to stay nice and clean. This is the Cavern of Injustice because you is the city of justice. I love it. I love it. All right. This one I did, I think, just once or twice because this is the initial one that I had accidentally skipped over. So I'm not sure how many different, like, alternative routes there are. If any, I know the alternative routes really start picking up once you get to uh, Dungeon 4. There's a lot of ways through that dungeon. Okay, all right, cool. Um, I do not want to go that way. I want to go the alternate way. Yeah, you're you're seeing some lag, you stupid snick. We pick up the hearts even though I'm full because the hearts are now starting to get indicative of rounding up and rounding down my health, and enemies are taking off partial amounts of health, and I'm just not seeing that yet. So this is the optional. This is a completely optional floor. The bunkers, skeletons running around, throwing axes at me, jerks. Uh, why do skeletons need to sleep anyway? Why are there so many beds? This is like probably more beds than there are enemies in this dungeon. And that's giving a, a bed to every bat and frog too. I will definitely take these coins though. It is uh, not, not too far from now where I, I will be able to spend them happily. Not a whole lot of stuff to spend your money on in the game. I mean, there are shops to be sure, but like this character is already wearing the armor that is available for me to purchase. Whoop. Yeah, okay. And crossbow, sword, a lot of the stuff you can find in the dungeons. So, okay, I do remember the last time I came through here, I missed the opportunity to explore a room, and I had blocked myself in. <sighs> yes, you can play the piano. I don't need to use that for any reason. Cannot open the chest. Why not? Is that a box of tissues on the nightstand? <laughs> I don't want to know. All right. So, not a whole lot going on here. Puzzle wise, mechanic wise, still pretty simple stuff. Uh, but this does kind of illustrate, help me illustrate the Hero Quest dungeon comparison in that uh, these rooms do not reveal themselves. Oh, there's a hole. They don't reveal themselves until you have opened the doors and then everybody in the door is able to come out and go wherever, do whatever. Uh, so I can't remember if I initially had fallen through this hole. Yeah, it is, it's the same one. All right, so I've explored everywhere then now. Not on, maybe on camera. I think on camera. Up. Mm hmm. Those snakes sure are daring. Yep. Ha ha. What? Ugh. Okay, so my hits were hitting. I wasn't sure. I was thinking me going off screen was, uh, yeah, helping, helping him not lose any health. 
or me moving such that he was off screen, but he was taking damage. So, yay. Next floor, please. Oh, God. That stupid thing. You can't hurt that. It just bounces around completely unaffected by everything. You can hit him, and he'll actually bounce back and forth between spots, but, like, if he steps on that switch, yeah, he'll activate traps. It's very frustrating. All right. That may be, get out of here, all the time I have for today. Rest assured, we're going to pick up right exactly from this spot the next playthrough. I've got a lot of dungeons to show you, a lot of, in particular, really cool ones coming up with lots of different, very tricky puzzles. How you might incorporate that into a game that you are designing, whether it's tabletop RPG or video game RPG maker, that's something completely left to your interpretation, but I think there are a ton of cool ideas in here, and I can discuss a little bit about how I would be implementing the ideas that we see here on the next episode. Probably could have done that a little bit in this episode, but again, the puzzles and the dungeons are still kind of relatively easy at this point. Will you be quiet? I am monologuing here. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's it for this video. I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Comment down below. I do respond to those. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. And until then, bye for now.